here in this video we are going to insert points along this polyline it's uh, with a specific distance as we are uh, specifying we will insert objects whatever it may be a point or a block or text anything like that we will insert along the polyline just like we are uh, creating a array and we will extract this properties to the excel here uh, even uh, there is multiple polylines we can uh, use the same code normally we are creating array by using an object then array select object then path then uh, at this point uh, we will uh, modify the array spacing or anything like that now we will erase this array object we are actually not creating a path array instead we are uh, inserting objects this same spacing on the polyline so first we will uh, use points to insert along this polyline using measure command you go through the uh, same procedure as we are uh, entering measure command in autocad command prompt that is pick object then enter spacing the same method we are uh, using just we will send command to the autocad command point it will create point like an array but here uh, at the beginning there is no point and also the same time here at the end also there is no point added so we have to insert include these two points also so first we will add a point at the polyline starting point and then use measure command then at the polyline end point we will insert the last point now let us go to use uh, excel and erase these uh, point objects now we have only one polyline only so we will use multiple polyline after we completing the code here i am uh, using excel vba we will insert a module if you need you can insert a module here or you can uh, use the same workbook module here module 1 we will create a code uh, with uh, a procedure we will start writing procedure so insert points to polyline make sure uh, you have a proper name for the procedure so that you can uh, recall it later with another macro in addition macros when we start adding uh, blocks or something like that so here before uh, continuing you have to make sure that you already added autocad objects in the reference okay, first we have to declare drawing that is here it is my drawing has card document and set the drawing to the active autocad document autocad application active document so it's already set now we have to access the object p line the card lightweight polyline then set the p line to the first object item 0 index number is 0 that's, that's the only object we have in the autocad session right now so for multiple uh, objects so we will just uh, change this this line to access all the polylines in the drawing
in the drawing model space item 0 that is first object that is the polyline you already assigned now here we have to add first point so we will declare point point zero what is the first point we are we are not going to the autocad screen to pick the points so we cannot uh, pick the points each time each for each polyline we cannot pick the polyline we have to assign the point from the polyline and uh, this macro will select the polyline by picking that point so before that uh, we will add the first point point P line dot coordinates zero. Here P line dot coordinates when you say coordinates this coordinates uh, points starting index starting point x then y then comma x1 next x then next y this index number is 0 1 2 3 score till the end so if it is a 4 vertex polyline then the last index will be 7 that is 8 digit 8 num 8 8 number of coordinates so when you say PL dot coordinates polyline coordinates zero means the first x value of first vertex, then y value of the first vertex, then x2, next x, next y, like that. When you say PL dot coordinate. Inside its uh, coordinate, it represents only the vertex. When you say 0, it's the vertex number. P line dot coordinate. So we have to again uh, we have to extract the value for x, y by declaring another variable. We'll, uh, when you say point is equal to p l dot coordinate 0, then, then that means this point has two uh, two values that x and y then we have to again extract the value 0 and 0 0 that is x like that so that's the difference between these coordinates and coordinate so now x value is there now we have to Assign y value. Then polyline don't have z value. It's only x y. Then x one y one, x two y two like that. So we for the z value we will get the derivation of the polyline. Now we will add a, a point. First point. At this beginning, you know, beginning of polyline, we are not go, uh, going to assign any. Uh, not, we are not going to declare a variable and a variable and assign the point uh, to the variable because here we are using a measure command as a send command function. So in the send command function, function it is just like we are using an AutoCAD prompt window. We don't have any control over the points which we are adding so it is not 
sorry, just we add in the drawing model space add poet. That is poet. So this is the first point we added to the drawing. It's only a description just to notify the location. So now we already added point. Next we will send measure command to the drawing. So my drawing dot send command. That is, it is just like a script. As we are uh, using script to enter uh, autocad commands here, it act like a script. So we will send a text to the command with command prompt measure then there is enter then we have to pick the object at a point so we are not going not going to autocad uh, pick the every polyline each time we just send an xy coordinates to the prompt, command prompt. So here we have to write a text. So we will declare another. So okay, we completely. Here we will declare another variable picking point. point it is not a double or uh, any value it is not numeric value it is a string because we are sending text so pick point is equals x1 and comma and y set now it is it act like a xy z values now pick point will continue the send command function here pick point then enter then the uh, uh, next uh, prompt is uh, spacing so we will we will use uh, this uh, variable here also. So we will declare another uh, variable for array spacing. Array spacing. This number is numeric value. So array spacing we will just uh, give default uh, value. Or you can use uh, an input box uh, so that uh, you can uh, change the value while you're running. Now we're using this uh, same uh, variable here. So no need to change value here. Uh, we just uh, change the value in the input box when we when we use input box. I will explain later. Array spacing. Then enter. Now this uh, my uh, send command measure measure command is already done. Now we need last point. So now in this measure command, there is one problem. We are picking the point at the same coordinates. So but when we pick on this coordinate, we cannot pick the polyline because we already added one point there so when we uh, when we enter this xy coordinates pick point it will pick this point autocad point which we already added at that location so we have to add polyline over this point 
So instead of instead of creating a new polyline, just we copy the polyline. So we will declare new variable dp line copy as a cut lightweight polyline. We will create polyline set polyline is equals p line just copy p line dot copy. So the same polyline with the same properties are already created. So it is on the top of the point. So when we enter this pick point, pick pick point, it will pick this polyline. And it uh, execute the measure command. Then now we no need to keep the polyline here. So we will delete p line copy dot delete. It's already deleted. Now we have to pick the last point. Now we have to add the uh, last point. So as we said before, this coordinates uh, index indicate the vertex x, y values of the vertex 0, 1, 2, 3 like that. So we will find maximum number of the coordinates that is uh, by do bound command we can get the last coordinates. So your last coordinate uh, coordinate will be value will be y value. So we have to minus 1 for the last x value. So 0 0.0 will use the same variable. 0 0.0 is equal to p line dot coordinates. The index number is u bound coordinates p line dot coordinates. Coordinates u bound p line dot coordinates then minus 1. That is the index number. So here next y value point 0.1 sequence p line dot coordinates same u bound p line dot coordinates. So here no need to minus no need to add any values so it has last point last coordinate. Then point 0.2 is the same, so no need to declare it again. We can uh, use it. So that this is the last point. Just add the same. My drawing. Dot. Add point. We already added points. Now it is ready to make an array along the polyline. So we can run a trial run. Here is the points it's inserted along the polyline. Just facing. Okay, now we have to add these points properties in the Excel sheet. That is point seven only x y coordinates. So we can uh, add the points properties here. Mm -hmm.